Right, replacing clutch cable, Virago 750. I had a less than stellar commute home on Friday. All I did was I took, what happened was the uh, little bobble on the end snapped off. Oh, looks like this. So I just took this off. It's just a couple of uh, 10 mil bolts holding it in place and it pivots on there. And now I've got my replacement cable, which is on the ground here. And I need to follow the clutch cable down into where it connects to the clutch somehow. I haven't opened this up before and the internet is entirely unhelpful on videos, so I'm making one. So it looks like it's just two Allens to take this thing apart, but these things were on snug as hell. So I'm kind of curious as to what it's gonna look like underneath. Oh, and now they're just loose. Smells like gasoline or something. Definitely the inside of the engine. No oil coming out, thankfully. And there you have it. That is the bottom of the clutch. Right there, and it looks like there's some weird marking on the Phillips head that's there. And there's a little spring that snaps it back into place, I guess. The two Allen keys, or Allen bolts that came out are difficult to mistake one for the other, so you won't have a worry about putting them back in the wrong way. Okay, this is something weird I didn't expect. This little tab here, I'm hoping that this comes through in the video, that little tab there is just bent into place around the cable holster, like that. Uh, I'm just going to put the new cable in and Rebend the tab around it. Now I gotta figure out how to take this off though. Oh. That's gonna come out with no problem at all. Never mind. Okay. So this is where it goes through. It went through here and it also gets clipped in here. And then it comes up to the handle there when the handle gets put back. This little protective bit gets clipped in here. And this just feeds down in and will get put back here. And that just slides into place, it looks like. And there's a little spring. right there and then went around that spot there we go now it's just to attach the handle control something I noticed when I was putting this back together this is just uh, one of the two knots in here this little bit is just it snaps in like that like you would for the uh, any other cables, throttle cable, etc. But you'll notice that on the end of this thing, it does not have a little screw in thing so that you can adjust how tight it needs to be. And it also doesn't have this nice little protector kid jigger. Okay, getting this thing on was a huge pain because the amount of clutch cable that it left was tiny. I actually had to feed the ball back up into there a little bit to get it to go through. Uh, but now that it's there, it should be okay. It's just a giant pain in the butt to get it that far. Right? Now I just need to fill, put that back together. Okay, so, you can see how it works there. A little spring helps it return to position. Clip in, you bastard. There we go but it starts like right away 
there's no a little bit of give before getting into the friction zone so i'm going to loosen it up a little bit and then give it a test Ooh, oh yeah center stand Works just fine. Friction zone is where expected to be. Tighten these up real nice. This just slips in, it looks like. There's nothing to screw or anything. Just kept in there by pressure. This clips in. Protective cable comes up. There's a little holder thing here. Comes up and it gets held again by this one. And the last piece is putting the cover back on to make it look pretty. And I gotta say, Yamaha, you have redeemed yourself somewhat, because after taking the bike half apart doing my oil change, this was easy. There we go. Alright, thanks for watching.